What's going on guys? So today I am out here at Explore USA RV Supercenter in Corpus Christi, Texas. And folks are always asking me to showcase something that's a little bit less expensive, a little bit more basic, something that might be easier to get into from a financial perspective, but still give you the capability of taking the entire family out RVing. Sure, it may not have some of the features and amenities that you might see in something like this grand design Imagine, but it's gonna have what you need from a basic amenities perspective to get you out there camping and experiencing it. And then of course a path to upgrade grade later in the future. Anyways, we're going to take a look at the StarCraft Autumn Ridge and uh, show you what it's all about. And this is a relatively affordable unit. Hang tight. I'll be right back. All right, before we get any further, let's take a look at the numbers on this unit. So this is going to have a gross vehicle weight rating of 4,450 pounds. It's going to have a dry weight of 3,440 pounds and a cargo capacity of 1,010 pounds. It's going to have derated tires on it, and it's going to have one single 4,400 pound axle, which is awesome for this weight of RV because it almost matches the gross vehicle weight rating. All right, so again, this is one of those ideal RVs to get into RVing with. It's not going to be perfect, I'm sure. It's going to have little things that you may not like about it, but from a cost perspective and a towability perspective, you can really start with something like this. Towing wise, um, I would tow this behind, you know, if you're just getting into RVing and you have no experience with it, then I would say at least a half ton just because you want the best possible towing experience. The bigger the truck you have, the better, but a half ton, you know, especially if you get it with max tow options, would be able to tow this just fine. A three quarter ton would of course tow it better, but again, you know, I'm just trying to give you my best opinion considering the fact that somebody who buys this may have never RV'd in their life before, and this is the first thing you're towing down the road. Anyways, let's hop inside of this StarCraft and see what the inside's all about, then we'll come back out and see what the outside's all about. All right, so this is the Autumn Ridge 19BH. And to be honest with you, it's, it's a pretty nice looking unit. It's a, a stick and tin, which means it's a corrugated aluminum material over a wood frame with batten style residential insulation. They put a PVC roof on it, which is generally considered an upgrade by a lot of folks. It has a heated and closed underbelly, which you typically don't see on this price point of unit, but that's pretty nice. Three year structural warranty. Anyways, let's hop inside. Steel steps, fold out steps, not super high end. You could always pay a little bit more and throw a, like a Moride or a Lippert uh, folding step in here. All right. All right, stepping inside, I can tell it has all pleated blinds and they're all closed right now. Has a queen size bed, some nice closet space, cabinets above. Has a curtain that actually can close over this area to give you some privacy here, which is really nice. Some higher end RVs don't even include that. And this will probably lift up so you have storage underneath. You've got a lot of storage underneath. You're going to have a booth style dinette, plenty of room to uh, sit a family of four. You might have storage, but you'll probably have to take the seats off. Yeah, so you have storage underneath by lifting that up. It would have been cool if they put some drawers right here, but again, something you could always add or something you could always just deal with on your first RV. This converts into a bed so you can sleep some folks right here, but this is also a bunkhouse. So you may not need to use this as a bed. This might be the perfect amount of space for your kids. You know, these are about six foot long, probably two feet wide. So you got a good amount of space if you have a couple kids that come with you. Pleated blinds, you know, the cost of pleated versus, you know, your roll down blackout blinds is so small that they should just include them, but you can always add that to your RV if you'd like. A single Dometic air conditioning system up top. You have your single basin plastic sink, but it's a huge, huge sink. Two burner gas cooktop, nice contrasting wallboard back here, and you have a nice window right here. So you got a lot of natural light that can flood into this unit. Compact high point microwave, and then you have some cabinetry up top here. Let's take a look at the price. So this is gonna have an MSRP of $31,016, which means the actual sale price of this unit is gonna be a lot less than that. So. Yeah, this can get you into RVing for a relatively affordable price. Overall length, 22 feet, four inches. Sleeps up to six, 3,440 pound dry weight. Very, very cool. So when they say six, they mean two on the bed here, two right here, and one in each bunk. So in reality, comfortably sleeping, you could probably do five, but real comfortably sleeping, you probably wanna do four. Okay, you got some more storage right here. 
And then you have some drawers. Always like to see utensil drawers. Very nice, that's your furnace down there. And then you have a, it looks like a gas electric refrigerator, which it is. Would have been cool to see a 12 volt refrigerator in here. Believe it or not, it's probably less expensive if they would have done that too. And you got a big storage underneath. That's nice. So you got a huge storage area underneath here. There's actually a good amount of storage in this unit. There really is. Whenever you consider all the storage around things, underneath the bed, underneath the booth style dinette, this area and under there. All right, stepping into the restroom. You have a plastic toilet, no surprise. You have a standard tub style RV or RV style tub bath in here. No shower surround. I do wish they would have put a shower surround in here, but they didn't. But I definitely, uh, I definitely recommend sealing this up a little better. I don't know how well it's sealed. I'm sure they did put sealant. I don't feel any, but I would put some silicone down the edges of all of this stuff just to give you that extra protection. You know, a bottle of silicone is like six bucks. Do the whole thing, just peace of mind. You don't have to worry about it as opposed to thinking in your mind, oh, they should have done it from the factory. Why is it leaking? Don't even take the risk. Spend the six bucks, do it yourself and have a, you know, a less risky experience. You have a mirror over here and you have really good ceiling heights. So you actually could probably be upwards of about seven feet tall and fit in this comfortably, which is kind of crazy because it doesn't seem that way at first. Very, very cool. Anyways, let's uh, let's head outside and take a look at the outside of this unit and see what it's all about. Okay, starting from the front, working our way back. You know, one of the cool things about being sponsored by e-trailers, I look at these RVs sometimes and I'm like, man, e-trailer carries that, e-trailer carries that. Like the front tongue jack. You can easily upgrade that for, you know, a couple hundred bucks, have a nice electric tongue jack like that one up front. Just makes your life a little bit easier. Has a single 20 pound propane can. Looks like there's a spot for two batteries up here, but because of how this is laid out, you could probably throw a 30 pound propane can on there or shoot even the kind that kind of rides above the A-frame and have two propane cans there. Scissor style jacks over here. This is probably gonna be a front pass-through storage. It's locked right now. You have a power awning that runs all the way across the top right here. Steel steps. Again, you could put some nice, you know, flip down steps or fold down steps if you want for a better, more stable experience. Outside of your furnace, this is 110 outlet, so you can plug a TV or something out here. You could even put like a little luggage rack shelf, something out here that flips up or attaches so you can use the side as kind of a, you know, a tailgating thing. This has Rainier tires, not a bad tire, but you know, I would replace it relatively soon, but it is a D rated tire, so that's good. D, the letter D, not D rated as in underrated. It has leaf sprung suspension, rides on a six inch I-beam frame. This is the outside of your refrigerator, and then you'll have a vent up top as well, plus your outside speakers and your vent hood vent or exhaust vent for your uh, oven or stove at least. Back here, all LED lighting. It is wired for a Furion wireless backup camera and you have a four inch tubular bumper on the back so you can throw your sewer hose in there, plus your spare tire already hanging from it. Coming around this way, cable satellite connection, other scissor jack, this is the outside of your water heater. This is the bunk area. You have your escape hatch right here. 30 amp connection over here. I like the graphics actually, they look pretty nice. And then over here, this is gonna be your water fill. So this is for your portable water tank. And yeah, it's a pretty cool little unit. I mean, what do you guys think? You know, this to me is affordable. It's practical. It will probably, you know, last you as long as you need it to, but you know, you always need to take care of anything you buy. You can't just park this next to your house and never go out to it, never look at it, never check it, never fix things. It'll die just like a house will die, just like a car will die. You have to spend time taking care of it, doing the little things. And there may be little quality issues, little things like that, but most of them are gonna be minor. Most of them you can repair yourself. Not having any slide outs is a huge perk in that sense, especially on your first RV, because it's just one thing you don't have to worry about. You never have to worry about it breaking or fixing it or any of that stuff. And adding to this is actually really rewarding as you upgrade it. You put aluminum wheels and tires, you put you know, a power front tongue jack, you put better propane, you do little things to it, you'll realize that you'll fall in love with it and it will turn into something that's more to you than just a, a cheap little RV that you once bought. Anyways, guys, I would love your feedback. Please leave a comment below. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.